Okay, folks, I have to say the new AI development by Apple has really shocked me. They created a new AI system called Realm that can understand confusing references and background context much better than existing systems. This will allow people to interact with voice assistants like Siri in a more natural way. And not just that. Realm is a new technology that helps AI understand language in a more human-like way. It's developed by researchers at Apple, and the main purpose of Realm is to allow AI systems to comprehend when people refer to things that are present in their environment or displayed on a screen. Now, one of the biggest challenges for AI is understanding context and references in natural language. You know, when someone says they or that thing over there, we can easily figure out what or who they are referring to based on the context of the conversation and situation. But for computers, this is an extremely difficult task. Realm aims to solve this problem by treating reference resolution as a language modeling problem. In other words, it uses large language models, powerful AI systems trained on vast amounts of text data, to learn how to connect references to their appropriate meanings. With Realm, an AI assistant can finally understand contextual language in a fluid, human-like manner. For example, if you point at something on your computer screen and say, what is that? The AI will comprehend that you are asking about the specific item you gesture towards, not just asking a general question. Another key capability of Realm is resolving vague pronouns and references based on context. If you say, they finally released the new movie, the AI would be able to infer who or what they refers to by analyzing the context of the prior conversation. Or let's say you're looking at a website on your computer and you tell the voice assistant, show me reviews for this product. An ordinary system might get confused, but Realm can actually recognize that you're referring to the product shown on your screen. It's like having a smart assistant that can actually understand what you're paying attention to in your world not just operating in some disembodied void. Now, from what I've read, even the smallest version of the Realm model showed really promising results on these comprehension tasks. The researchers found it gained over 5 percentage points in accuracy for understanding on-screen references compared to other leading language models. Okay, okay, but what exactly is Realm and how does it work? You know, one of the biggest challenges for virtual assistants and AI language models is understanding all the different types of references we humans make in conversation. I'm talking about things like on-screen references, when we're looking at our phone or computer screen and we refer to some text, image, or app data that's shown there. Like if you're browsing the web and say, go back to that page I was just on. Conversational references, when we refer back to something mentioned earlier in the same conversation or dialogue. And background references, references to things happening in the background like alarms, music, or other running processes on your device. Up to now, traditional AIs have worked by trying to analyze and understand the elements within images. But get this, Apple's researchers found a much more streamlined approach for Realm. Instead of having the AI directly process all those different sources like images and app data, they convert all of the contextual information into text data first. Then, the large language model, which is really good at handling and understanding text, can simply process that converted text data to resolve any references. It's like providing the AI with a unified Rosetta Stone that translates the different contexts into one common language it can easily understand. Now, quick break, folks. If you think we did a good job with this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and, more importantly, share the video with your friends. It would be immensely supportive. Now, back to the matter at hand. By using this conversation method, even the smallest Realm models were able to perform almost as well as GPT-4 at comprehending contextual references, despite using far, far fewer computing resources and parameters than GPT-4. And here's the really mind-blowing part. When you scale up Realm to the larger model sizes with more computing power, it actually starts substantially outperforming GPT-4 at reference resolution tasks. We're talking about massively improved comprehension abilities. One reason for this is GPT-4 heavily relies on parsing images to understand on-screen data. 
However, its image training focuses more on natural photos rather than the artificial, code-rendered websites and apps people view on screens. So directly converting screen captures to text allows Realm to process that data more effectively. For example, if you're browsing a website and say, call the business, Realm could understand from the screen context that you want to call the phone number listed for that business. With traditional methods, Siri might struggle to pass that vague command correctly. You see, Apple's research shows Realm excelling not just at understanding on-screen references, but other types of contextual references as well. And it achieves this high performance with a relatively small model suited for on-device processing. This aligns with rumors that Apple's AI strategy will lean towards private on-device models for core capabilities, while licensing larger cloud-based models for other companies when needed. The paper states that Realm is the best possible decision for a practical reference resolution system which can exist on-device without compromise of performance. This research seems to be a key step towards Apple's anticipated AI announcement at WWDC in June 2024. The research paper discusses four different versions of the Realm model that vary in size. These four versions are called Realm 250M, Realm 80M, Realm 3B, and Realm 1B. The M means millions, the B means billions. These numbers show how many parameters each model has. So, in comparison, GPT 3.5 has 175 billion parameters, and GPT 4 has about 1.5 trillion parameters. The paper says Realm works about as well as GPT 4, but Realm has much fewer parameters. At the conference, Apple is expected to preview its comprehensive AI strategy and potentially a new Vision OS software platform focused on AI and augmented reality experiences. We may see Realm integrated into an enhanced version of Siri that truly understands contextual requests. So now, what does this mean if a future version of Realm is used for Siri? If a new version of Realm is added to Siri, it will simply help Siri understand what you mean better. Realm would also allow Siri to have more natural conversations without needing a huge language model like Gemini. Along with other recent Apple research, Realm shows Apple is still working hard to improve its AI assistant Siri. Some of this other research lets an AI provide responses after just a single instruction or prompt called one-shot responses. The one-shot ability means the AI can come up with an answer immediately after you give it some information, without needing to study that topic extensively first. This makes the AI seem smarter and more responsive. So Realm, combined with one-shot responding, suggests Apple wants Siri to be better at understanding natural language and having back-and-forth conversations. Apple doesn't just want to rely on or copy other companies' big language models. While details are still limited, the Realm paper makes it clear Apple has made considerable advances in natural language AI that could allow a voice assistant to finally understand requests as seamlessly as humans do based on the current context and conversation. I guess this more intuitive method of communicating with AI assistants would represent a major leap over current frustrating experiences. If executed well, Realm could help make AI voice control more ubiquitous and hands-free, aligning with Apple's broader augmented reality vision. Apple is expected to make Realm a big part of its AI strategy going forward, which makes total sense given these shocking capabilities. It's trying many different things with AI right now. They want to see what works best. There are rumors that Apple might work together with companies like Google, Baidu, and even OpenAI on this new AI development. We'll likely get our first look at Realm in action with major Siri upgrades at WWDC in June 2024. Okay, folks, as always, drop an AI in the comments if you made it this far and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the next AI news and to support us. See you in the next one, folks. You all take care.